What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean, so if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, today we'll let Casper originator Jonathan Sampolinski speak about his vision for Casper. It is an interesting segment, this recording comes from the tokenized 2025 LDN in London and was provided by the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation. So shout out to them. But before we go in, always remember to prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Keep your Caspa coins and crypto investments safe through self-custody. In our opinion, your best option is the Tangent Wallet. And for a limited time, if you buy a Tangent Wallet, you can get 50% off your second till December 22nd, 2025. So check Check out the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. So in crypto, there are two types. There are two species of researchers. One species gets all the attention and honor and respect. And this is the cryptographers. And they are strictly interested in knowing that each step follows from the previous step in a logical, mathematically enforced manner. But they suffer from a spiral of death. The only concern of a cryptographer in the crypto space is a certain a certain state transition correctness. So whether it's cryptographic signature that you own the UTXO, whether it's a set of state transitions in the ZK rollup, and all these cryptographic schemes, the context is that the cryptographer provides a self-enforced, mathematically enforced truth that follows from a certain set of state transitions. Understandably, this is considered the peak of crypto because by trusting math with no other trust assumptions, you create supposedly a hard, uh, airtight system. However, this mindset fails to connect crypto to any other system. So within one system, ZK proofs and cryptography are airtight solutions. However, whenever you want to connect a crypto blockchain, a crypto system to any external event outside it, you have to use the other species of researchers, the distributed systems researchers, which operate in a very different trust model operating on the assumption that the majority is honest, the typical 51% honest majority in Bitcoin, and any connection of a crypto system to the external world or to other blockchains necessarily operates in this honest majority world. It's more adventurous, it's more fragile. The honest majority is arguably much weaker than just math. But again, arguably the only way to connect crypto and to fulfill the internet money vision or the crypto promise is by accepting this assumption and trying to create this bridge. All the bridges are assumed to be of second degree importance and most of the intention goes to these uh, siloed systems which are enforced by ZK so if, if we want to think about the crypto vision, which we can encompass or which is embodied, let's say, in, in internet money, we need to think about the word internet in that context. We don't want to think about uh, a siloed system. One very timely world event that would affect everyone's crypto money is the MSC index ruling mid-January about whether DATs, MicroStrategy, can be included in equity stock indices. This is not an event that can be verified cryptographically in the Bitcoin blockchain, but it will affect the store of value property of Bitcoin. So if you want to think about internet, internet money or store of value, we have to think about connecting this to a flow, an internet money flow, and try to envision how each component will play out. The ruling of MSC Index uh, in a few weeks would be clearly a critical event that would affect everyone's Bitcoins, at least, if not the entire market. So let's assume I hold money, I'm a liquidity provider in crypto, and I wish to prepare myself to store my value correctly and securely, and I have to prepare to this external event which I know in advance. Again, I'm assuming that it is clear to everyone that ignoring this event and sticking to cryptography would be a spiral of death error. We have to assume this flow is an important element of fulfilling internet money and crypto promise. Let's say I say if MC, MSC index approves MicroStrategy as part of the index, um, there's an upswing in crypto and definitely in Bitcoin. If it's in the other direction, then probably I should prepare for a downswing. And let's say my assumption is proof of work currencies that do not have DATs that are not married with uh, institutions and corporates have a better chance of surviving this. So I want to give more weight to my 
Caspa holding versus my Bitcoin holding. What I envision in this internet money flow would be step number one, I devise a strategy. Step number two, I delegate this strategy to some hypothetical internet money layer that I didn't specify yet, but it should resemble something that we are building. This internet money layer commits itself to read the internet or to read the news, the headlines frequently, especially in mid-January. And then immediately when this event happens, the internet money layer reads the news input, the internet input, and acts on my behalf according to it. This does not exist in crypto today in a trustless, decentralized manner. There are, of course, smart brokers, centralized services, third-party networks that can act upon it. But I will describe now why an internet money layer has to be something more cohesive and the internet money flow needs to be uh, somewhat atomic. What you see here is a graph of blocks. You can assume time flows from your left-hand side to your right-hand side. And Assume we connected this money to the internet, meaning assume we instructed miners who are interested as an opt-in protocol. Assume we instructed them to help us know mid-January whether the ruling was in favor of microstrategy or to the contrary. So let's say miners attest with a green check mark in case of a favorable ruling and X, a red X as a negative one. These things again are done in crypto today. There are Oracle networks, there are bridge networks, these concepts in and of themselves are not new, but they are not holistically integrated into L1 flows. What you see on your left-hand side is what would happen if we instructed Caspa miners today, when we are operating with 10 blocks per second, if we instructed them to attest mid-January to the event, to the ruling. These 10 blocks are mined in Caspa post the crescendo update roughly uh, within a second. So these votes are not opinions, rather attestations. So either the green ones are lying or the red ones are lying. This is not a preference race. It's a truth or lie attestation. If you count the votes on your left-hand side, what you see is seven votes were green, three votes were red. And now the question is, what's the probability? Actually, the red blocks represent the majority. With proof of work, this is a small probability after 10 blocks, but not a negligible one. So with 94.5%, you got a sample of the majority. This is a lucky burst of an attacker proof of work mining. And actually the three red X's are the truth. So again, if you just wait one second in Casper Crescendo and require all miners to attest and you collect the votes, there's still some non-negligible percent chance that you have sampled the dishonest minority. However, if you speed up Casper mining, to 100 blocks per second, then with, within one second, in this example, let's say half a second, you get 50 votes. And these 50 votes, assuming you get like 44 green check marks, then the probability that you have sampled a dishonest minority is almost zero. So this provides you motivation, or rather Casper Core Dev's motivation, to accelerate the block rate from 10 blocks per second to 100 blocks per second. And while this will not increase any human notable UX, you won't be able to discern between 100 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds confirmation time. You will be able to safely finalize this bridge or finalize this attestation or get to a verdict regarding this attestation within one internet round trip time. So in real time, you can verify or finalize this attestation. And again, we're talking not about cryptographically verifying something with math. It's counting the majority, operating on the basis of the honest majority assumption and the only game here is how fast can you sample the majority? And the surprising thing is for a real-time sampling of the majority in a way that it cannot be manipulated, you have to use proof of work. And this is contrary to what many of you have been taught, that proof of work is a dinosaur and proof of stake is the new thing. Well, this new thing cannot satisfy this property of real-time decentralization and real-time finalization of majority vote, a proof of work DAG has the ability to sample the majority in a granular manner. 10,000 miners of miners are trying to mine a block. And if we have 100 blocks per second, then 100 of them will be able to present a vote in a timely manner. And this is not only a game changer, but this is the, the main moat when describing the tech stack of Caspa. If we want to distill one feature that is not only vaguely decentralized or some vague description, but something that is inherently unachievable with other systems, with non-proof-of-work systems, it's real-time decentralization. So Caspa is 
essentially implementing what Bitcoin achieves within an hour, right? After an hour of Bitcoin blocks, you say, okay, I sampled the majority and now I can accept transactions. Casper can do this in real time. After one round trip time of the internet, you can say, okay, I got an example of the majority, I can act upon it. Crypto Crew, what the Casper dev team is currently developing is truly revolutionary. And in part two of Jonathan Sampolinski's presentation, you will know why. So look out for that vid, Crypto Crew. Yeah, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Now, before we go, if you're looking for a pro Casper friendly exchange with tight security, even through the historic October 2025 crash and no KYC requirements, Blowfin could be a perfect fit for you. Take advantage of 0% fees on limit orders and 50% off market orders fees during free spot December. This event ends December 31st. So don't miss out and check out the link in the description box below. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.